Hi there, my name is Andy Young and I'm one of the automotive lecturers down at Unitech in Auckland, New Zealand. And uh, this is part of the family of videos um, covering basic um, workshop skills, um, which you're going to need really um, for testing your cars and fixing your cars and working out what's wrong with your car. Uh, this is sort of covering the electrical stuff and it covers uh, available voltage. Now, um, with available voltage, You've got the car battery, uh, assume the ignition's turned off, uh, the, the engine's not running, so we're using battery power initially. You've got your, your OCV, you've got your battery voltage, uh, and you've got a number of circuits on the vehicle. And let's look at the headlight circuit. So the headlight circuit, you've got um, the power coming from the battery on a wire. It goes down to the fuse box, and there's a contact point, and that contact point connects to one side of the fuse. Uh, and then it connects to the side of the fuse and then it goes off to your to your headlight and then it comes back from your headlight and it goes to the usually to the combination switch uh, on the steering column or the dashboard whatever it is that controls your headlights so there's a number of sections of wire and there's a number of contacts around that circuit um, and essentially what we want is for all the battery voltage to be used up by the consumer by the bulb that's going to make the bulb nice and bright Unfortunately, uh, in the real world, what tends to happen is we lose a little bit of voltage in each section of wire. The longer the wire is, the worse the condition of the wire, the thinner the, 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 the number of uh, or the copper content of that wire is in, in section, and the, the less number of strands and so on, uh, then it's going to have a higher resistance. And with a higher resistance, we're going to see a volt drop. Now, with available voltage, when you're testing it, you have to have current flow. So in this case, you'd have to have a headlight turned on. And what I've set up for you is a really, really basic circuit as, as regards um, volt drop. And we'll play around with this a little bit. Um, first of all, you're going to need a multimeter, okay? And you're going to need to put it onto DC volts. Okay, so you've got voltage on there, look, so we'll click that round. Make sure your, your two little leads are in the right place as well. Put it on DC volts and then we're all set. Okay, so we've got a circuit set up here. We've got our power supply set on, oh, let's have a look, about 12 volts. Let's see what we've got exactly. Uh, okay, 11.93. Let's just crank that up to 12. Ah, near enough. Okay. Um, so we've got a circuit rigged up where we've got power coming out of the power supply, about 12 volts, running through to the bulb and then via a couple of contacts back to the power supply. So available voltage, get your multimeter, grab the negative lead of your multimeter and connect it onto the battery negative or the negative of the power supply in this case. And then all we need to do is take the, the positive um, test lead and then we can put that straight onto battery positive and that gives us uh, battery voltage which is just under now just under 12 volts and as we work our way around that circuit we'll see that voltage drop down so right at the start we had what was it 11.98 at the first connection that's going to drop down to 11.64 so that's the available voltage at that point in the circuit is 11.64. We've lost a little bit of the voltage due to the resistance of that test wire. Now, we can't get into the bulb area. Could we back probe it? Let's have a go. Let's see what happens. Okay, maybe. Let's give it a go. So we'll get a little pin, slide it down the back. And there is a video covering how to back probe stuff. We're going to get a voltage off that. Not enough. Okay, let's try a bit further in. There we go. Let's see if that's going to work. Oh, there you go. Okay, so 11.59. So again, we've lost a very small amount of the voltage down the yellow wire here, but that's because it's a much thicker wire, a lot less resistance. Okay, and then coming out of the bulb on the black wire, the first contact point here, look. We're down to 0.67 volts, which tells us we've suddenly jumped from 11.6 
down to essentially 0.7. So the about 11 volts is being consumed by the actual, what we call the consumer, the thing in the circuit that we want to work for us and do some work, which of course is the bulb. Now we're losing some small voltages through these test leads, and if we go on to the next one, the available voltage comes right down to 0.34. Now that's the, the, the last connection really in the circuit other than the one onto battery negative. Obviously if we go on to battery negative, we're going to get zero on the gauge. So your available voltage, you put the negative lead onto the negative of the battery. Um, so if it was on your car, obviously onto the battery itself. And then you can work your way around the circuit. So if you're looking for um, you know, a bad, bad connection or something in, in the circuit, um, you could basically start at battery positive, work your way down to the fuse box, down to the, the, the light cluster through the loom, all the different connections. And if you suddenly got a large drop in that available voltage, then it would indicate that there's a bit of an issue at that point in the circuit. So there you go, available voltage. So you've seen there a really good example of taking an available voltage. But essentially, the thing to remember is you want the, the vast majority of the consumption of voltage, that's the should be done by the consumer, the bulb is what should be using it. And the rest of the circuit, the less the volt drop, the better. You know, really good quality wiring, you're going to get a very, very low volt drop. Okay, so I hope you found that helpful. These are just very short videos. That's all they're designed to be, is to give you a, a basic grounding on how to do each type of test we've covered on this video, um, available voltage. Okay, my name is Andy Young. I'm one of the automotive lecturers down at Yuntech in Auckland. Um, hope you found this video helpful. Um, thank you for watching. Cheers, over and out.